Like the other buildings, the roof was made of poles covered with grass and mud. With its painted trim, window panes, and fireplaces, it was an island of civilization in a wild land. November 29, 1847. The house that once stood here was the home of Marcus and Narcissa Whitman for nine years. It also served as a school, hospital, orphanage, and church. One tragic day changed everything. Oregon Trail Wagon. This authentic replica was built in 1974 of an immigrant wagon from the 1840s. Where did people sit? If they were sick or tired, they rode in the back, but most of the time they walked beside the wagon with the men leading the oxen. Why did they prefer oxen to pull the wagon? Oxen were cheaper than horses or mules. They pulled heavy loads, they didn't bog down in the mud, and they didn't stampede. How far could they go in a day? Depending on the terrain, from 5 to 25 miles. It took four months to get here from Missouri. Is this a Conestoga's wagon? No, Conestoga's were larger, heavier wagons used in the east and on flatter trails like the Santa Fe. Pioneer Burial Ground. This secluded place was used as a burial ground by early settlers in the years following the Whitman Massacre. Very little is known of those who are buried here or of the exact location of the graves. Whitman Memorial Shaft, 27 feet high, erected 50 years after the massacre. Base of shaft is 720 feet above sea level. Children of the Trail. This was the Oregon Trail. Travelers who made it this far usually drove on to settling places farther west after stopping for food, medicine, and a brief rest. But for seven children who arrived here in October 1844, it was a tearful homecoming. Their parents, Henry and Naomi Sager, had died on the 2,000 mile journey from Missouri. The six oldest children, shepherded by a kindly doctor from their wagon train, pulled up here with the dilapidated remains of their wagon after seven arduous months on the trail. When Mrs. Whitman greeted them with a smile, the children thought she was the prettiest woman we had ever seen. The Sager baby arrived several days later with another family, and the Whitmans, who'd lost their only child five years earlier, adopted all seven. The 1847 Indian attack three years later made the Sager girls orphans again. Among the killed were Marcus and Narcissa Whitman and the two Sager boys, John and Francis. The victims are buried together out at the Great Grave.